whoever dies first that owes everybody 100 merits. Damn. Merits? Um... He's about to die. <laughs> I'm not hail you. Alright, okay, that's that's sabotage. Hey guys, Kensho here. This is going to be the guide for Balrog, Temple of Immortals. It's actually one of my favorite bosses. I still have Rune Temple and Beyond Link to do, but so far I'm really enjoying this boss fight. He's pretty simple and is straightforward. He just hits really fucking hard. So, uh, the main mechanics he needs to worry about in the beginning before he starts to uh, mix things up is that he'll do a roar and then a dash. Now the roar, if you're caught in it, you'll be slowed by 40% as well as all your primary stats be reduced by 50% so that also means that you'll be doing less damage but then your priest will also be doing half the healing so keep that in mind another thing important to note is that if you're on the other side of Balrog from your priest you're not gonna be getting any heals I'm not sure if that's being body blocked or just his hits box is so big that you're out of range you probably want to be close to 3k gear score because as you see right now my wizard isn't really doing too hot yeah you're supposed to like enter rog at like 3k gs yeah i have 3k hp oh gg <laughs> yes gear score yeah so um with that in mind you just need to be around 3k 2.9 is fine too but yeah so that aside you notice the uh, notches at the top of the boss's HP at around one and a half notches he'll start calling down a meteor storm and he'll do it twice consecutively in a row so it just looks like one call but after he does the meteor storm he'll then summon pillars at the edge of the map and he'll be do and he'll be charging up a one-shot swing this one-shot swing you need to avoid by climbing to the pillar or somehow making yourself invulnerable oh no can the first one to die i didn't press <laughs> i didn't press so I tried to use my thieves and vulnerability. Well, not really in vulnerability. You have like an 80% dodge skill you can use. And I'm still trying to practice using that properly. And I didn't realize I didn't have the spirit for it. I was just too, too focused on that. All right. So he only does his swing twice throughout the entire fight. But as soon as he finishes doing the swing, he'll introduce his new mechanic of summoning minions, dragon minions on the top left and top right on lava. They are on hot rocks. So you, what you want to do is take your best DPS and go there with your priest and just DPS those mobs down as soon as possible. I usually like to cycle always from left to right. And I usually, if, you're, if, I'm, a, if I'm in a pug, I would always immediately just designate whoever is going to be the person that's going to be like the buddy with the priest to go take care of those mobs those mobs are really important to wipe out if they if you don't take them out they will take you out they're not like lubalisk they do a shit ton of damage now other than that he will just constantly call the mobs over and uh while he's doing the roar and the dashes he's also going to be doing his three hit swing that he always does throughout the entire fight the first two hits if you're in melee range you're going to take the hit but it's perfectly fine just have your pre-switch to heal you but make sure you're not too far from him i suggest even if you're a ranged character to still stay in melee range with him next to your priest because that last hit is like i want to say it's a one shot I've survived it once or twice, but most of the time it straight up just one shot me and it leaves like a flame dot on the ground that you want to watch out for. Alright, yeah, that's that swing right there. So just watch out for that. Make sure to always cycle around, keep taking care of the mobs, keep taking care of the mobs, and you'll be fine until you get to the next phase. He'll start calling those pillars down. Make sure to watch out to 
dodge those. Those chunk the living hell out of you. So don't eat them. Trust me, you want to avoid that at all costs. Alright, now let's get down to the next phase here. Okay. So at this next part, he'll do an AoE drain. Now it's three ticks. It's yeah, it's a three tick. The first tick is damage, which you need to heal. Then the second tick will be a damage with a stun with a third tick doing the main chunk of damage. Now, the reason why I explain it this way, if you have a knight or if you have someone that can involve you right before you get hit by the stun, you can actually avoid the whole stun. And usually you just want to stack on your priest right in the center and just have the priest spam heal you if you don't believe you can, you know, take care of it yourself. Now, if you don't have a priest, you can still take care of that by just waiting for you to take the first tick of damage, then potting up. Because remember, the second tick will stun you. Now, me as a thief, I can use that 80% dodge. A knight, you just huddle on a knight, he can involve you. There's, there's, there's different ways to, to, to handle that situation, so it's not too bad. But he's going to do that constantly. He will, he will do the drain, and then he'll roar. He'll do the drain, and then he'll roar for some time. So this is, this is honestly like your main nice DPS moment here. But watch out for when he takes a step. Or it looks like he's about to hit somebody because then that that like indicates lets you know that he's actually done doing the drain spam over and over and he's going to charge so be careful for that now you'll notice on throughout the video he'll start to do more than just one charge and he becomes to stagger more and more after he does the after he starts to do three consecutive charges He'll end up stunning himself in result, so you want to make sure not to actually get hit by the dash so you can actually use that time to DPS him down while he's stunning himself. Now let's go ahead and move over to the next part. Oh, you can make it! Disrespect. Ooh, Ooh nice. Now this is the final mechanic for the boss. He charges up for a flame blast, which pushes you back and stuns you. Now what you want to do is avoid the meteors he calls down while charging up this skill. The blast is unavoidable, so make sure you're healthy before it happens. Now he will then choose a target to charge after, after he finished stunning everyone. and you'll be able to use a pot right before he makes contact with you so if you're low on hp don't be too worried just spam your pot button and you'll be just fine around the same time of this mechanic tristan an npc will show up and randomly stun the boss for you i tried looking around for answers but it seems unclear how he shows up maybe it's bugged i'm not sure holy shit tristan oh, oh. holy shit tristan So that's everything you need to defeat this boss. If you guys found it helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be definitely putting out more guides out there. So until then, I'll leave you guys with these clips. I'm going in. Leroy! Oh, oh, oh. No, oh, damn. <laughs> what the fuck? No! Oh, it's such a bad start. Wait, what? <laughs> it's a bad start. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, wait, wait, no, 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 no,